Uh, the main challenge which was challenges we were facing was uh, it was basically kind of a the script needed 120 days to shoot the film and it needed around 13 to 14 schedules the challenge was to complete the film in 70 to 80 days time so that a team had to really put in a lot of hours in the film at one time, they also protested that we can't work anymore. I'll give you an incident in Ladakh we were shooting. And it was minus, minus 14 degrees. We went in the, May, uh, in the month of uh, May, uh, Feb, off season. It was minus 14 degrees. Arif Zakaria plays uh, Mardana Ji in the film. Uh, through Arif Zakaria, Mardana Ji, we actually tell the film. The narrative of the film goes through him. Because he was a companion of Guru Nanak Dev. And... Uh, he said, I'll shoot. He said, I have to love, take off my shoes because I have to, otherwise I have to change the shoes in the post and it'll take a lot of complications. He said, I'll take off my shoes. Minus 14 degrees. He shot, he did the action on the snow. We shot for a uh, few hours. And afterwards, uh, after around the team said, I don't think we can, we can, we can, we can work anymore. You don't think that uh, it will create a controversy between Muslims and Sikhs because you have shown pre mughal area, you are mm -hmm. saying, mm -hmm. but the main thing is not the exact figure. See, it will never create uh, uh, any animosity within the any communities because it's just not a religious film. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a social film. The film revolves around, see, Guru Anak Sahar was himself a Hindu born. His best friend and companion was a Muslim. They traveled together. He never preached anything. He didn't preach in uh, uh, miracles or rituals. He tried to simplify life of every human being, every person, be it anybody over there right now. The first thing we... The preamble of the script which we made that we make sure that we make a film, it doesn't hurt anybody. Anybody sentiment? Yeah. It can, was, yeah. can you define pre-Mughal era? See, pre-Mughal era, pre-Mughal era, uh, uh, pre-Mughal era is that before the Mughals had come to India, Baba had come to India. So the from ba in Baba went and invaded India in the Battle of Panipat. The Mughals came to India. They were called Mughals. Before that, we were ruled by uh, different dynasties. From they were from basically Turk and Persian backgrounds. That Ibrahim Lodi and uh, Dalit Khan were not Mughals. So the Mughal dynasty started when Babur came in and Babur came in during the times of uh, Baba Guru Nanak. So whatever we have in terms of the references in filmmaking, we have a lot of Mughal era, we have Mughalism, we have uh, a lot of films, we have uh, or we have Mauryan uh, uh, era films like uh, Kama Sutra uh, or uh, Alexander the Great, but in between we have never made a film between 10th century and 15th century. So we have to look back into the social culture and everything. If the, the, uh, uh, the social strata, the language they spoke, the official language of Persian that time. Yeah. What is your opinion about Sikhism? What, what do you want to say about Sikhism? Because it's, it's, it is showing the film that it will create a controversy that uh, Guru Nanak Sah is Hindu mainly. He is not Sikh. I am a proud Sikh. And, uh, and uh, I have done my best with the help of other people in the, uh, in the unit, uh, with the team, to spread uh, the message of Guru Nanak Ekumkar to the best possible way I could, in the most simplified way, most simplified way I could. Tell me about the theme of actors, characterization, how you done the characterization of it. 